but I also got the plain text password of the domain administrator account that I wasn't able to crack before. And oh boy, did I get access to all the machines in the network. And I found the budget for the next year. In this video, I'm going to share with you the process and the results of a internal pen test that I did. And hopefully you can learn something new or just entertain yourself with a hacking story. So let's get started. Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the Hackerish YouTube channel. All right, so it was a internal pen test engagement. I connected to the network, tried with the domain accounts that was provided to us, and I couldn't connect to the domain. What I did then was to remotely connect to the test machine through RDP, and from there, I was able to download PowerShell scripts such as PowerView to perform domain enumeration. The problem is it was flagged by antivirus, but I was able to bypass it using a very well-known AMZ bypass. So what I did was open a PowerShell prompt, bypass AMSI, and then download the PowerShell script directly into memory. So with that said, I was ready to perform domain enumeration. I enumerated everything, users, groups, GPOs, organizational units, you name it. One of the things I always do in an internal pen test, especially for Active Directory environments, is to list um, the Kerberosable accounts. So to my surprise, or really not surprised because it's a mistake that pretty much all the clients I've pen tested were doing, was that the domain administrator account was actually Kerberosable which means that I was able to download the hash of that account and then I tried cracking it. The problem though is that during domain enumeration, I found that the password policy was 12 characters minimum. So I might not crack it, but I tried anyway. So I tried with different word lists, different techniques of cracking. If you want to know more about the techniques that I did, I made a blog post on thehackerish.com and also a video that explains how to do it. Despite all the efforts, I couldn't crack it. Well, time to move on. So I downloaded um, the Bloodhound ingester and ran it, collected all the objects and mapped them on the user interface of Bloodhound. There were a lot of domain admins, which is typical for uh, most customers who have not done their due diligence. So I found a lot of domain like maybe 13 or 14 domain admin accounts, which is quite a lot in a domain that has one forest with one root domain. And those domain admin accounts were having remote sessions on pretty much all the workstations. So it's definitely a huge attack surface if I just compromise one server, one machine where I have a session of a domain admin, I can collect their hash and then pretty much gain access to the whole domain. The plan was to continue doing enumeration while still having this um, attack path. I wanted to perform unauthenticated tests to see if someone without a domain account can actually gain access to something. Using LMNR poisoning, I was able to capture some hashes. The problem though is that I couldn't crack them. It turns out there were also many machines that did not have SMB signing on. And so what I did was relay the sessions that I got using LMNR poisoning to those machines. And uh, I remember using in packet to dump the local SAM hashes and I just let it run while doing other tests. And at some point, a local admin who in fact was a domain admin connected to one of the machines and then through LMNR poisoning I was able to relay that session to other machines and it worked on one of the boxes where SMB signing was off and I was able to grab the local administrator hash for that machine. So using crackmap exec I wanted to verify if I could have access as a local admin to that machine. The problem though is that the local admin was disabled. But as a hacker, you always need to find other ways. I had other techniques under my sleeve. So instead of running in packet and dumping the local SAM hashes, why not just remotely downloading Mimikatz and running it to dump the LSAS and extract hashes on that machine? So I tried the first time 
I saw in the logs after a certain point, it turns out, I think that there was some kind of a script that was running periodically, like once every day. I needed to wait for the next day to test that. Unfortunately, I got something on the logs of uh, Responder. It didn't work. I didn't see any output uh, from Mimikatz. And this, this is where I forgot to actually bypass AMSI. I replayed the attack. Uh, this time downloaded uh, AMSI bypass before actually running Mimikatz. The next day I opened the session and uh, found the hashes of the domain admin account that was connecting and dumped the LSS memory. I found the NTLM hash. The next thing I did was run it with CrackMap exec and oh boy did I get access to all the machines. Two and a half days I was a domain admin, and so I wanted to provide more value to the clients. Remember when I talked about gaining remote code execution and then dumping the um, LSAS memory and grabbing the domain admin account that had a session on that server, remember? And remember also that I got the hash of the domain administrator account, but I couldn't crack it using the Kerberos attack. So, what I did was enumerate the network for only known uh, vulnerabilities such as, guess what? Eternal Blue. Yeah. So it turns out there was a Windows Server 2003, which was exposing um, SMB, and the version 1 was vulnerable to Eternal Blue. Since the exploits are very stable for such uh, vulnerability, I ran it and got access to that server. From there, you guessed it, Mimikatz, LSAS dump, getting the hash, but I also got the plain text password of the domain administrator account that I wasn't able to crack before. It was really strong. To give them a proof, I just logged in to the domain controller with that account. I didn't want to connect to other workstations with that domain account because that would widen the attack surface even more. If some kind of malicious threat actor would gain access to that particular server or machine I was connecting to. So got a screenshot of the domain controller's desktop using RDP. I didn't want to just uh, tell them, hey, I am now domain admin. I wanted to provide them with impact. The MITRE attack framework tactic about impact, you can see several things that threat actors are aiming to achieve through their attack. It's not just to become, become domain admin. They, in fact, they can even uh, achieve their objectives uh, without becoming domain admin. So I uh, connected to one of the file servers and tried to find some internal information and I found the budget for the next year. So I just got a screenshot, redacted it and put it in my report. Now, I did a uh, early presentation to the team on site but the client was, I felt that they were not really satisfied with the outcome of the engagement. If you want to know why and how I handled the situation, you will find the next part of the video in the membership area. There I will explain what went wrong, how I handled the situation and how I provided even more value to our client. Until next time, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.